Members of the 4th Estate, thank you very much for coming. Um, this was um, a very, very important uh, forum this morning where we came together both as the national government, uh, represented very well by the county commission and the national security team, the county government, um, a, a number of major, major NGOs and donor institutions, and even uh, private uh, commercial institutions were also very well represented. We basically discussed a lot on how to um, continue dealing with the grave, you know, grave circumstances that we are facing as a country, or as a county rather, uh, with regard to the ongoing El Nino uh, rains and floods. Um, what we uh, have uh, come to be told, or rather to understand this morning, is that we are indeed uh, in, in, in dire situations. Uh, about 30,000 households have been confirmed uh, are affected in our county, um, particularly um, outside Garissa. Garissa, the number of households affected about 4,600, but the rest of the uh, families affected are in the uh, far-fetched corners um, in the sub-counties. There are about 21,000 families or so uh, affected largely uh, in those uh, very remote parts of the, of the county. We have been told, unfortunately, that about eight people have so, so far perished uh, with these floods uh, in, the, in the county, um, while still a number of uh, many other families are, 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 are misplaced and many people are still missing out. So we have decided, having listened to the, um, the many um, NGOs and donor institutions who are working with us, um, obviously, I, I, I do appreciate that a lot is being done by a number of good institutions um, and indeed by all, including or starting with Red Cross, uh, WFP, WHO, UNICEF, and of course all the other also smaller NGOs are all working um, in one way or another towards mitigating the circumstances that we are going through. As a county, we are doing whatever we can. We have so far distributed food to the extent of 4,000 families largely in Garissa town, but the number of the affected people in Garissa town do keep increasing. Today, as we speak, uh, we have 18, 18 IDP centers um, in Garissa town as people continue flood, um, fleeing away from the flooded areas, and the numbers continue increasing. Finally, a very, very disturbing issue also was raised, the issue of uh, business, businessmen and traders, very irresponsible traders who are benefiting or who want to benefit from these circumstances by hoarding whatever food is available in the county or in the shops or in their stores so that they can raise the prices and make super profits. We are calling upon those people not to do that, to desist from doing that because it's inhuman, it's irresponsible, it's not being heroic at all. And for that matter, it's not even religious. It's very, very, very religious way of handling a situation like this one. Nevertheless, I've also given a direction that any trader, any trader, whether big or small, who is seen to be engaging in such a practice, we are going to cancel their license. We will go after them one by one, and we are going to cancel their licenses so that they do not do any business in Garissa County. To appeal the members of the public, let's sell hope. Let's not sell hopelessness during a time of crisis like now. Let everyone who has a form of assistance to assist his or our neighbor. This thing will be over. Kenya is working around the clock 24 hours to make sure that the stretch between here and Madogo will be repaired in the shortest time possible. I want to say that all of us who are in far-flung areas of this, uh, of this uh, county I'm directing the DCCs, SCCs, chiefs to make sure that members of the public are informed about the dangers of the floods. We have lost lives, unfortunately, eight people up to now, but we don't want to lose another single life. I want also to extend 
uh, our heartfelt gratitude to our partners who have really assisted us. We have seen Red Cross using uh, high speed ports to save lives, and that is what we want each and every individual in this country, in this county, to in a very small way save lives of your neighbor. To those traders who are hiking prices, who are holding food items in their stores, the laws of this country are very clear. And I want to assure you, with the assistance of our DCI, we are going to arrest these guys and take them to court and be charged accordingly. I echo the words of the governor, we are not going to be to compromise on anything when it comes to the welfare of our people.